This is the third video of my GTK series, but today's topic is not just limited to GTK. Make files. Make file is a utility that is generally used to manage your projects and are very capable of managing thousands of your source code files. Though in this video, we will be discussing more basics. So let's roll the intro and then get started. All right, let's quickly open our terminal and go to our GTK tutorial directory. And yes, from the last video, you can see here we have start and start GTK app. So let's quickly remove these executables. All right. And if you remember, we used a very long command to compile our GTK code. So the basic idea is to reduce our task. All right. So let's quickly get the command that we are using earlier. Yes, this is the command we are using. I'm simply copying it. And now create a file with name as make file and be sure the M is capital and uh, you name your file exactly like this make file. Okay, hit enter and yes, allow me to maximize the screen, great. So there is a very basic prototype that we use in making make files, which is target, then colon, then prerequisites and uh, here is the action we will take. Also, there is a tab between here and it is mandatory because make files are white space sensitive. So be sure you give a tab here. So this is the very basic prototype and uh, we will be using this. So all right, let's go to top and here whatever the target you give will be the default target of this make file. So let's give target name as my GTK app okay give colon and now prerequisite the prerequisite here will be our gtk source file so the name of our gtk source file is gtk start app.c so we will be using this let's paste here hit enter and it will automatically give tab and now here you will write your compilation command. So let's get that compilation command. I'm using search history of my terminal and yes, here is the command. So I'm simply copying it and paste it here. So yes, this is the command which we have to follow. And uh, now we can remove this. We don't need this. All right. So here you see the target is my GTK app, the prerequisite is start GTK app.c and the action to be taken is to compile our start GTK app.c. Okay, this is a very basic make file. Uh, we will be updating it in this video. But let's test is it working or not. Now to compile your code, you just need to write make here. That's it. Hit enter and this will automatically compile your GTK code. And yes, you see my action here, which I wrote in my make file. And if I now go LSHL, you will see start GTK app. And now I can simply run this GTK app 
and that's great. Make files are even used to compile multiple source code files, but that will be not required at least in this playlist. Now to make my make file more flexible, we will be using macros. Macros are basically like variables you declare in any programming language and we will be replacing these hard coded commands with macros only. So I will be using conventions like uh, we use cc to declare our compiler. So the compiler here is gcc and then we will have our c flags and c flags are this particular thing here. Let's copy and paste. After this, we need our program name. So let's give a macro which represent our program name. It will be prog start gtk app. Let's move it on the top because we will be using this a lot. And the last thing is the libs. The libs macro is this thing here. Let's copy and paste again. All right. So I have declared all my required macros. The only thing left here is to replace our hard coded command with our declared macros. So let's remove GCC and use macro CC here. Notice I'm using a dollar sign then curly braces and I wrote GCC in these curly braces. All right, let's do it for all. I'm removing the C flag here. So I will use the macro C flag. C flags actually. All right. Then we will give this hyphen O. And here comes my program name. So let's give it prog. And here also prog. And we have to keep this dot C written here. And at last it's our libs macro. So let's use dollar curly braces on libs curly braces off. Great. Awesome. Let's change our target name to be same as our program name. Giving target name same as your program name. It's very beneficial. I will show this in a minute. Change this to prop. All right. So now my make file look like this and now it's looking much beautiful than earlier. Let's see what we have in our directory. Uh, let's remove this binary all right now we have this make file the start.c that start gtk app.c all right now if i wrote make and hit enter you will see my command run again and now my directory has one more file this is this is the binary file start gtk app and i can simply run it so yes my make file is working perfectly now if you remember i told you to give this target name same as your program name the reason is if i write make again and hit enter this will give me that my application is already up to date which mean my program will only compile if i made any changes so let me show you let's use touch command and let's touch gtk app.c 
and hit enter. Now if I run make, this gonna compile it. Okay. And now my code is compiled and if I didn't make any change and run make again, it will say my application is already up to date. So this only happen if you give your target name as your program name. One more beautiful thing we can do with our make files is to use a target which is conventionally known as clean and this do not require any prerequisite and in clean basically we try to delete our binary files or object files so just to make our directory super clean so simply use remove command remove and here i can write my program name hardcodedly or intelligently i can use my macro so i will use prog here it will remove prog if i use make with an additional argument as clean so let's see we have start gtk app here and if i run make clean it will remove my start gtk app so hit enter and you see this command is executed and if i see in my directory the start gtk app is now gone so this is one more beautiful reason why to use make files in your projects just to summarize what we have done here this is a make file which is compiling a single c code file and uh, i'm going to use this make file to compile whatever next program we are writing i will be simply changing this prog name and compiling again and again that's all let me summarize this these are my macros this is my target this is the prerequisite and this is the command we are running and this is one more target which is clean and it's useful to remove my binary files okay so i hope this will definitely reduce your compilation task and make your development much faster so that's all in this video the next video will be on the very first gtk widget hope you are enjoying this series if you do give every video a like and share with your friends and tell them how to create gui applications using c programming language and subscribe to educators all right let's catch you in the next one